Thank you for correcting. So we'll do 10 2. Um, what I like to do, guys, first of all, is just kind of go over a different definition of a parabola. All right? So far, ladies and gentlemen, we've talked about a parabola. Looked like that, right? Pretty basic form. All I want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is just kind of give you a different idea of a parabola. So far, what we've learned about a parabola is we know that it had a vertex and that it had an axis of symmetry. Right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in, I'm now going to include some more characteristics of a parabola that we're going to use in this, in this chapter. So far, this has just been kind of the basics, right? We knew the vertex was h comma k, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into it right now. I just want to go over some new characteristics of a parabola. So we have a parabola. We know that the vertex and the axis symmetry are there, correct? We know that those are there. There's a couple other points I want to bring to your attention. So if here's my vertex, the distance from my vertex to a point, which we call our focus, is the exact same distance to a line, which we call the directrix. All right? And this actually comes into our definition of a parabola, that the distance from a focus to any point on our parabola is going to be exactly the same. All right? It doesn't matter where I want to find a point. The distance from any point on my parabola to the focus and to the directrix is going to be exactly the same. Right? Remember geometry, how you do the little tick mark show congruency? Right? OK. So that's going to be my focus. That's going to be my directrix. So we still have the vertex and the axis of symmetry. Right? But now we're introducing two new types of definitions. Now we're introducing the focus and the directrix. All right. One thing I want you guys to notice, how is, notice that the vertex and the focus both lie on the y-axis in this case, but more specifically, other than it's a line of symmetry, right? Because we could shift it over to the right, and they'd still lie on the ax line of um, axis symmetry. So notice that your vertex and your focus lie on your axis symmetry. And also, please note that the distance from the vertex to the focus is exactly the same as from the vertex to the directrix, right? These distances are exactly the same. That's going to become very important. We'll talk about that in a, in a second. The last definition I'm going to do, which is going to help us graph, is going to be this blue line right here. All right? The blue line is what we're going to call a lattice rectum. All right? And what the lattice rectum, we're going to go, I'm going to show you guys how to figure these out and what the values are and everything like that later. But the lattice rectum, all it says is when you have a line perpendicular to the axis of symmetry and it goes through the focus, that's going to be your lattice rectum. That's going to be very helpful for us to graph. Okay? So right now, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to have these key points. These are going to be part of our new definition of a parabola. All right? Okay.